So how do apartment locators get paid? What's the earning potential as a locator instead of a realtor that's really focused on resale, new homes, has access to the MLS? What's the locator's MLS, right? There is a difference. Realtors use MLS while locators use a proprietary locating database. That's the biggest differentiator, okay? So as an apartment locator, you don't actually need access to the MLS. You don't need to call yourself a realtor or pay for the trademark, and you don't need to pay for the super key because we don't deal with resale homes at all or, or any homes, really. We deal with apartments. So there's a big misperception right now in the market where people think that being an apartment locator, the payouts are similar to the low-paying rental house MLS posted commission okay because a lot of realtors know that it's like 30 percent of the first month's rent is the average payout for rental houses if you're a realtor and you're looking at those rental houses on the mls okay but locating is a different world right it's a smaller niche there's only three thousand of us compared to 1.5 million active realtors um, but there is a difference okay so the payouts for apartment locators are much higher than the standard rental house payouts that you'll see if you're looking at the MLS. In this video, we're going to go over me answering a question for a new agent that's like just now getting involved with apartment locating. She joined our Facebook group. That's great. And she had a few people that are reaching out to her wanting assistance with finding an apartment. So she was kind of confused. She was like, uh, my brokers are telling me it's not really a lot of pay. Is it a lot of pay? The apartment locating channel says that it's a month rent or two months rent as commission. So why are, why are my brokers telling me that it's, it's low pay. All right, so we're gonna get to the bottom of that. Okay, we had a really interesting question here. It was about commission and payouts and if locating is worth it. Here we go. Hey guys, new realtor here. What's up, Jada? Thanks for joining our group. I recently took interest in apartment locating after watching Pierre Meggi's videos. Awesome. And I have taken action. Well, good job. Most people don't take action. So good job, Jada. You actually took action. I have four people wanting my help with finding their next apartment. Wow. So if you have four people, that is like six to 10 grand worth of commissions. So that's awesome. It sounds like you're just beginning and you have four people. Good job. So I asked my brokerage mentors to help me through the process. Of course you did, right? That's what your broker is there for. They told me some news, which kind of discouraged my enthusiasm in locating. Let's see. They showed me in the MLS that most landlords don't pay much for all the work I am doing and that my clients would be better off using apartments.com. <laughs> I'm going to be all over this comment. I thought I would receive the first month's rent, not $200. <laughs> so two questions. Uh, is this field best targeted to company apartment buildings? <laughs> all right, and two, is the MLS limiting me? If so, what site do I use to help search for my clients? Absolutely. So Jada, the good news is that you, ha you already have like four people wanting, wanting your help. That's awesome. So you just have to understand... Uh, how this business model works, right? And also know that there's less than 3,000 active locators on the market compared to 1.5 million realtors. So it's not like that your brokers are wrong or your, your mentors, your brokers are wrong. They just don't know because no one knows about this industry, really. 3,000 versus 1.5 million, right? So they're trying to just help you the best they can. They're like, hey, don't do rentals. Like it's 30% payout on the MLS, right? Or $200. So that makes sense. However, we don't need the MLS. You don't use the MLS as an apartment locator. You use an apartment locating database that's actually even more accurate than apartments.com. Okay. So the first thing is that uh, you're, they were saying that like maybe your clients are better off going to apartments.com. No, not really. Because if you use our locator version of the MLS, Right, realtors use MLS. Uh, locators use the uh, apartment locating proprietary database. That's local data, more accurate data. Has filters for credit issues. Has filters for criminal issues. And so you can really filter down. The filtering is better on an apartment locator database than Apartments.com. It's just true. Of course it is because it's a paid tool. Apartments.com is free right? There's some filters that you, you can't even filter on with apartments.com like criminal and, and certain credit issues, right? So uh, you can actually help people that are in the market to uh, rent an apartment better as an agent because you have a better database tool, right? There's two leaders in the market, okay? There's Spark and there's Smart Locating. Spark uh, database was created by one of our paid students in our coaching program. We're really proud to say that. 
The second largest competitor for the database is Smart Locating. They've been around for the longest, but like Spark is younger, but smarter because we taught that it's our student, right? He went off and created a, a better database. He's like, there has to be a better option. And then Smart Locating is tried, tested and true, and they have been around for the longest. So we teach Smart Locating in our, in our coaching program for now. That might change. Okay. So those two is like as if you were a realtor with MLS access. Apartment locators don't need MLS. So you can cancel your MLS subscription, cancel your super key. You don't need, even need it to be called a realtor anymore for the trademark. Okay. Two questions. Is this field best targeted to company apartment building? So there is a section in our coaching program that's an even smaller niche where you can help actual companies uh, with employee relocation and then short-term rental companies that are looking to acquire a lot of apartment leases to so they can sublet them. The subletting is harder. It's a harder pitch. That's harder work, but it's still a tremendous five, six figure payout. But with the employee relocations, that's like the easiest deal in locating. And it's always five or six figures in a client, in one client. I've helped a lot of corporate companies as a locator myself. I started this trend years ago when I helped Apple, Spectrum, Dell as clients because small teams in, in cities move. And the person that's in charge of relocating the employees, they don't want to do any of the work. So they just work with the locator. It's free. And it is free. We don't charge them. But the building pays us if we're representing the employee relocation situation. We still get paid a month or two months. So yes, that is like a you can do corporate leases. We call those blanket leases because it's like one client, but you're leasing several units. So that's like epic. But even like you don't have to do that to make money. The bread and butter comes from leasing 10 clients or more a month. I lease like 40 if I go full time. But if you lease like 10 clients a month, average payouts like $1,500, you're at 15K a month. Okay. And then the 10 clients are in your CRM and you're building a relationship with them for when they inevitably evolve and want to buy their first home. Are you, are you getting it? So you're in a, in a niche on stage one where, where other realtors and new real estate agents just try to be buyer's agents or, or listing agents and are having a hard time, especially right now with the NAR settlement. Being a realtor is even harder. Locators position themselves in the first life cycle stage of their own clientele right? Everyone rents before they buy. So you're making six figures and you're making more average income than a realtor as a locator. Okay. If you Google it, you go to indeed, indeed.com glass door and simply hired those credible sources all say that apartment locators average income is like 70 grand. Okay. So you can make more on average as a locator than a realtor. And then when your clientele evolves, you help them buy a home. Now you're a buyer's agent way easier. So yeah, the corporate leases, the blanket leases are a thing. I teach that. In, I te We only teach that exclusively in our coaching program because it's like stupid valuable. Okay. We don't really talk about it publicly. Is the MLS limiting me? Yes. Cancel it. You don't need it. If so, what site do I use? We talked about the database, right? And so what's really cool is that when you make six figures as a locator right away, right? Because of the payouts from, keep in mind, on, a part, on apartment communities are higher than the industry average of 30%. Your brokers are not wrong, but they're thinking about it like MLS posted rental commission, which is like 30% of the first month's rent. That's industry average. So yeah, in that case, you know, if rent is $1,500 and you're getting 30%, that's like $400. <laughs> so they're not, they're not wrong. They just don't know. Okay. If you refer your clients over to apartment buildings that are managed by big management companies like Graystar, Roscoe, Pinnacle, Lincoln, Property Company, they pay, you know, anywhere from 50% of the first month's rent. So if, if the rent is $2,000, it's a $1,000 commission, all the way up to 200% of the first month's rent. So if the rent's $2,000, it's a $4,000 payout. Does that make sense? So the range is like 1K to like 4K or way more if it's downtown. Like if you lease a penthouse for 150%, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can make 10 grand off one, one penthouse referral. But anyways, that's why the confusion exists. A lot of people don't know about our industry. They're just lost. And so um, that's how it works, right? Apartments pay way higher than standard rental house commissions. So again, your, broker, your brokers and mentors are not wrong. They just don't know, okay? Uh, anyhow, hopefully that was helpful. If you need help or you want to book a call with us so that way we can show you like what we're doing, like our system, what works with us, um, we add value even on our booked calls. So when people are considering our coaching program or they just want to see if locating works for them, we have them book a, book a call on our website. It's nal.rent 
All right, we're the National Association of Locators. If you watch that 10 minute video breakdown, it's gonna give you more clarity on like what the heck this industry and this niche is. And if you wanna book a call with us, we're just gonna give you clarity. Like, hey, this is what locating is. Tell us about your situation. Okay, well, this is what we're doing with locating. These are our systems. And we literally give our systems and what we use and how we connect them to automate a lot of our daily tasks for free on booked calls just value up front. And then if you want our coaching, you, you can discuss what it looks like to move forward with us as coaches. But even on the booked call, we get, we give you clarity and we give you how we're locating in real time just to help you out regardless of moving forward with us. So check out our website. It's nal.rent and maybe we can be in touch with my team and I can help you, right? There's like six of us now uh, supporting our students, okay? There's 410 students that we've helped at a less than 1% refund rate. Hopefully that was a comprehensive answer. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.